Alright, that might be doable. Okay, uh, now that we are at war with the British, their guarantees won't matter. Not to mention that broke the alliance directly here, so let's act this guy. Utrecht actually has quite a bit of land. He's colonizing this province here of Groeningen. The 21 development place with like Crazy good buildings and stuff. Yeah, he's colonizing it. Makes sense. One drawback to not having an HRE anymore is that it's a little bit harder to march around. You never use the colonist on a normal province? Good. And you made the right decision. It's a horrible waste of resources and you should never do it. Burgundy was also guaranteed by Great Britain, but we have a truce with Burgundy till 58. Built 81 galleys. Must have been mad at the Ottomans or something. No general, and I need somebody to go intercept that army that's landing in our homeland. Hmm. Well, now's a good time to roll a new general then. Who shall lead? <laughs> yeah, bogey 82. Sounds great. Are you going to be a good one? Pretty good. 4434. Very nice. Not bad at all. They did a barrage, but that's not going to save them. Mr. Bogey82, or Boggy, not sure how you pronounce it, is going to murder the Brits. Handily. Blue Zypherman, thank you for your sub, sir. Why the flag squares? Trying out a new mod. See if people like it. I kind of like it. Make Flanders into a state. We're going to want to do that, probably. Mm 
Verdon. Trying to siege him out. Almost done. Being unlucky with Z's outbreak there. Very slow siege ticks. 46 days. 87% defensiveness. Wow. Bremen's like awfully defensive. But his fort fell, nonetheless. Don't actually want anything from that guy. Um, Oldenburg. I don't take some more land soon. We're gonna hit the uh, the Abin Point cap again. I think, again, the only reason we're even in this war is because I just need Vlandrin. So I guess let's just take Vlandrin. Whatever. Sounds good. War's over. And the only reason that we were really at war with Great Britain is to isolate Utrecht to make it easier to do the peace deal with Utrecht, which we just did. So I could theoretically try to take some land from Lund from England right now so we can get over there. We do have two beachhead provinces, this little island uh, of Man and then the Orkney. 75, Losef, thank you for your sub, sir. The French are starting to aggressively colonize as well. Even though French are Catholic, and we have Treaty of Tordesillas here, so what is he thinking? That doesn't make sense. They piss the Pope off. Get him excommunicated, except that that can't happen because it's too late in the campaign now. Seriously, my army never actually got on the boat and invaded the Wurgle? What the hell? Stupid ships. They were supposed to have invaded the Wurgle automatically. Dummies. So we have this fleet here. It's not very good, but it's probably enough to get us over into London. We've got these armies that are just kind of hanging out, nothing to do. So I say we give it a shot. Let's have... Mr. O Green Worldism, get to Picardy, turn on Forced March, and you're going to just Forced March your butt across that channel. Do it. Go get him. We have um, negative 26,000 manpower, so I guess we'll slack in standards once. He did it! He landed! And the English have no response.
Let the attacks on London commence. Ooh, we just lost our missionaries. That's unfortunate. We were using those to good effect. Now we're back down to just two. And admin point cap. Great. Yep, it's fine. Why are we at war with England? Because England was def like guaranteeing people. And he's guaranteeing Burgundy. If we wait until February of 58, I can attack Burgundy without Great Britain getting involved with this guarantee. No, Gouger, you're dead already. That was pretty quick. I, I mean, in theory, I need land from Great Britain, right? We've already conquered all of South America. I guess we could make him concede the 13 colonies to us? Because we have a colonial nation there now, right? Yeah, 69 war score to get, get him to concede that. Or we could start working toward the mission, which is to invade England. But... Oh my god, Spain gets Restoration of the Union, cast a spell on Great Britain. Never mind, we'll just do that to get all of Great Britain. <laughs> so we'll finish the Union thing here. Then we'll get a free Union over Great Britain. But for now, I, I guess, yeah, let's take... Um, take the Colonial Region, because we can. That seems like a completely reasonable thing to do. It's not overpowered at all. Please tell me that they've actually landed. No, of course I gotta do this manually. He probably has a bunch of ticking war score from that. Ten ticking war score because the fleet didn't invade automatically even though I told them to. Bank Papal Influence for a Stab Increase. Um, I mean, being on positive stab is desirable for the prosperity and protection against a lot of random bad events that happen on negative stab, but being on, neg and on positive three isn't that essential in my opinion. We're really kind of low on manpower still. Like, most of these armies are pretty under-enforced. Under Now we're up ahead on mill points. Mm. Still don't have the ticking war score.
<laughs> Easiest war ever. Our troops... This is what's so broken about Spain. We have... Look at the ideas we have. We've got exploration, expansion, offensive. The only military idea group that we have is offensive. And I don't even have to think about anything. Just send the army at things, we win. We always win. We win every fight. Like, if it's even remotely close, we win. Because... Spanish artillery, good! Get a discounted advisor or get free step? I'd rather have the free step, actually. Beating the Ottomans is hard? Yeah, they give a little bit more difficulty than anyone else we've been fighting, but... Damn it, stupid Evan points. I think I'm just gonna take tech now. I don't I don't really care. I don't want to min-max that anymore. I want them to just not annoy me with pop-ups about things and stuff. Colonial California requires just up to there. Don't forget to attack Burgundy while we're at war with Great Britain. Thank you. Yes. We've lost the Siege of Kaor. Yes, that's a good place for them to threaten. South, uh, Northern Africa. 47 war score. Are you going to agree to just give me the 13 colonies yet? Because then we can end the war and I'll come back for you later. Out of manpower again. I've been being a little aggressive with my wars. Considering that we're close to wrapping this campaign up, it seems like the right thing to do. The war goal occupied with this guy. I also have so much money that I could just use mercs if I really wanted to avoid any issues with manpower, but I still prefer to use professionalism as a manpower pool, manpower bank, before doing that. Got to get our diplomatic reputation back from the Pope. Get that done. Apparently there is an army up here still trying to fight us. Silly Brits. The fools. We have Frankfurt and Syria. You allied who? Wait, not Syria. Styria. That's different. That is a different country. Turns out my transports aren't that great at fighting against British transports. <laughs> transport on transport battle. 
Oh well. Let's keep that army up there. I'm not going to try to press any farther forward. He actually should be willing to agree to the peace deal now. Yep. So he's just going to concede the 13 colonies to our subject, which means that um, that's all ours now. Sounds good. Mine. Spanish North America. Boom. Pancakes and mimosas. Suddenly pancakes. This whole army just gonna hang out, work together. We got Metz yet to occupy. Frankfurt is. Oh, I was looking for Frankfurt, like a tiny little country, but he's hiding and being my color. And he's huge. <laughs> That's a big Frankfurt. I thought Frankfurt was just gonna be like the little one little tiny province there, but no. Sneaky. I wonder he hasn't been like knocked out by one of my subjects yet. I like I love this. The game is doing this super brilliant thing where it's trying to use this fleet in addition to the other fleet so that it can move the entire army in, in one go. Because this army is too big for these 45 transports. In the time that it takes those stupid 11 ships from India to get here, this thing could have been moved back and forth about eight times. Super brilliant. Very logical. Much wow. Considering that I only need these three provinces from this guy. Well, that's kind of frustrating. I don't think I'm going to be able to actually take Luxembourg without taking an extra one. No, I can't. Well, I can't. I can, actually. But I won't be able to core that. Why is it letting me even take it if I can't core it? That doesn't make sense. Liege can core it? Liege is not a subject. We never vassalize Liege. It doesn't make any sense that I'm allowed to demand it. The game's being weird, but whatever. We'll take Rathal and just call it good. Central Coalition, Morocco. Seems reasonable. The cost to core these provinces is like nothing, because we have... I don't know. We have adaptability, innovativeness. Do we even have absolutism yet? Is that a thing? Yeah. That's part of it. Maybe a little bit of peace would be nice. 